we're sticking on season eight. Season eight for me was rushed. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So that's, yeah. that's uh, the vow. Um, and now uh, I think Elliot, you might as well go, go next since you're, you're there next. Yeah. I'm Anderson anyway, so it makes sense. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Um, the whole show was consistently good. Um, seasons one to seven, outstanding. I can't really complain too much about it, really. Um, season eight, flop. The whole season? <laughs> Unfortunately, there's probably one episode that was really good. The rest of them are just a flop for me. I can't... It was, it was utter anger. Absolute anger from myself i couldn't take any of the the um the way stories started the way they stopped you had you, you had at the end of um episode three i think it was when um when um no episode four when aria um got on the horse at the end you thought so okay something's gonna happen and next episode she's just walking around normal calm <laughs> It's, it, it was just it was just too rushed, and the story was just was just a mess, absolute mess for me. Okay. This sounds like Arsenal, Arsenal TV. <laughs> <laughs> it could be Arsenal, Arsenal TV. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any? Is it, it to add to that though, Elliot? Is there anything that you would say was a, like a high for you, like a really? Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The high for me was seasons one to seven. The consistency, outstanding, outstanding for for having seven whole years of a show being that good. That is that that shows how well written it was, how well di- how directed as well. And I can't even put fault in season eight with God and um, the actors. Actors were outstanding as well. The actors were fine. The, the direction was fine. It was just the writing was just poor. Um, for episode three, even though it was very dark, I still liked it. I still thought it was very good. Um, but apart from that, not really, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you've just... Yes, yeah, finally. Um, and we're just going through like, individually what people enjoyed and disliked about the show as a whole. So um, welcome. Yeah. Uh, you just want to share with us your... Hi. And uh, yeah, what do you feel? Well, but... I, I enjoyed um, everything that all the actors done. The actors were brilliant on the show. You know, they made me fall in love with some of the characters, made me really like, in, like some of the characters, made me hate the characters. I enjoyed season one to seven, <laughs> like someone else has already said. Um, season eight, I was on board with it. I, I was on board with season eight up until the last episode. And then for me, that's where they just, they done everybody wrong. It, it was just... Uh, Shambles. I don't know if I can put it into words. I mean, because for me personally, season, um, in season eight, episodes one to three, everyone expected what happened in episode three to be the very ending. I think that's what most people thought. But I thought it was quite clever that, you know, with that, I, I thought they were saying, that the real enemy weren't the White Walkers, they weren't, you know, all these mythical creatures. The real enemy are human beings. The real enemy are ourselves. And we need to, we need to learn to work together to, you know, whatever, whatever. So, you know, coming to the end, I, knew, I, I thought, you know, come together and to fight Cersei and all that stuff. I, I thought, yeah, cool. This is going to happen. I'm down with that. But then when, yeah, the execution was just terrible. For me, the execution of that was just terrible, and it just it 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 ruined every it, <laughs> it ruined everything for me. So yeah, that's that's how I feel about that. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't I can't blame the actors. Uh, it's just for me, it's the writers. <laughs> for me, for me, it's the writers who, wrote, who yeah. Well, we're gonna get that. to that a little bit later, but that's a uh, okay. That's good. Good. Good, uh, fair point. Similar, echo- echoing what Elliot was kind of saying as well. Um, and Menelik, if you want to just share yeah. your thoughts. Um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't as disappointed as everybody uh, seems to be, to be honest. Um, I, 
I'm disappointed that it was so rushed, like that they didn't have more episodes. They they obviously chose to sacrifice the episode count to have more dragons and more battles and and everything. And actually, I did when it started. I I did expect that um that the that they would end well. When I found out that the episodes um with the White Walkers was the one they were doing. The Battle for Winterfell was how it was happening. I expected it to end there. And then I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's going to be, um, uh, you know, against Cersei. And then, but Cersei didn't get to do anything that entire season, really, except kind of stand in windows and kind of look <laughs> menacing and then, <laughs> and then go, go about her business. Um, yeah, I'm, it, it, it could have been... There was so much potential there to explore things uh, and to kind of, you know, have the 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 feeling of the, the the previous seasons where you can really get into the character work. Because uh, to, to be honest, I'm more interested when they're all just kind of scheming against each other. That's the thing that kind of grabs me. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, we didn't even get more, uh, a lot of that even, or it didn't really work. They were just kind of skipping to the necessary character beats so it's just like okay we've got to get them from here to here and you could tell that even by the way they travel it's just like yep yeah, that person's left like jamie was captured and then suddenly he was in uh king's landing like the next scene i was like oh well that was quick because <laughs> he was literally behind uh the hound and Arya. so um but yeah so it could have been it could have been better but i kind of had even from the last season, I think the last season kind of prepared me for it to be as rushed as it was because I knew that they were just sacrificing um, episodes and time in order to just get bigger battles and just kind of get to the ending. So I, I guess I kind of prepared myself for those things. But still, at the same time, when this episode started, I was really tense. When the like Battle for Winterfell, I was like, who's going to die? And then it turned out to be hardly anyone. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not the best, definitely not the worst, right? I, I don't know. No, I didn't think. I mean, I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse programs ending. Yeah. So in terms of that, it was like, okay, it was not what it could have been or what we expected it to be, and it's been hyped up all, all these years. But I already knew as well that I wasn't gonna. I probably wasn't gonna get exactly what I wanted out of it. So I guess my expectations were just lower. Okay. And then I was satisfied. So, <laughs> <laughs> lower your expectations, and you'll be okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, um, Louise, being the only lady on this uh, webinar so at the moment, I guess you get the unique uh, perspective. Can you um, unmute yourself, please? I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought I had. Sorry. Okay. Um, a lot of interesting comments there because I don't know if any of you've read the book. Um, so I read the I'm first. Done. And um, there's a lot of characters and a lot of detail. So I wasn't sure how the last um, season was going to go because I'm not actually sure that the author has even got that far because I don't follow it that tightly on what part the author plays and what part he hasn't. Um, so yeah, I did. I went with an open mind to be honest. Um, I was a bit disappointed at the end at how everybody kind of went their separate ways and it just felt a bit, yeah. Um, So yeah, I didn't know how much more they could have done because there's some shows that are just going on for far too long. And I'm wondering if all the detail that we would have wanted and the characters to really build, how long it would have gone on for and how bored you would probably would have got. So um, for me, the f- it, I went with an open mind of how the ending would be and thought it would be a bit more um, dramatic, but it wasn't. So that's my point of view on that. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, that's, I just wanted to make sure everyone had their sort of point of view covered before we sort of go into the, the nitty gritty of it because I think um, I'm personally I, I you know I wasn't into Game of Thrones at the very beginning. It's one or two people on this webinar right now that could probably claim that they got me into it. You know that's a you know it's debatable, but I um yeah I once I've got into it what like uh, Menelik said 
like the dialogue and the some of the scheming i love that i love that element of it and as soon as that started to go away it kind of lost something so um you know I, what i want to put to you guys is how much of an influence or how much did sticking to the book the actual original material um, matter because i think where season seven and eight were concerned it wasn't really sticking to them well they were kind of making it up kind of you know because they didn't have the source material to go by um is that could we say that that's part of the reason why it's, it failed what what do we think has led to the, the failure or if we even believe it to be a failure of season eight how, how it sort of ended well george R. R. Martin is still involved he's, he didn't disappear uh you know he, he told them basically what his plans are for the end if he ever ever gets around to writing the, the last few books so I mean, I don't know if we can just blame it on the lack of source material. Maybe they didn't have the same, you know, can't write verbatim for the scenes, but... But then uh, again, that goes to show happen. that, that goes to show that, yeah, you can have source material, you can have something to guide you, but if you don't have the, the I guess, the, the quality and skill to go into the detail about what the characters should do in the storylines, which is all in the executive producer's hands and the writers. Well, the executive producers are also the writers as well. They write some of the yeah. episodes as well. So it just goes to show, I mean, up, up until season four, I think, I think that went in line with the books, didn't it? Yeah, and yeah. Season, I mean, <laughs> so, I, so I, yeah, I, I, I kind of, I partly agree with you, but at the same time, I think that it goes to show that up until the point where they, they had the blueprints, they had to go by themselves with a, with a guide, they still lost something in between because I think it's, it was still good. It's still good. Don't get me wrong, but I think a lot of the, like you know, the, the Lord Varys conversations with uh, Littlefinger and uh, all the kind of back, back, back sort of back of the uh, behind the scenes or scheme and stuff, kind of I think dwindled a little bit, and we got more battles and and stuff. Yeah, still good. Still, still great battles and all that. Hard home, wicked bastards, wicked. You know uh, the. Castle Black Battle, it's all good. But I still think like people like Lord Varys and stuff in season eight, they just went even he was he was he was screwing. I don't know if you guys saw the documentary. He was screwing. Yeah. yeah. He didn't as like as he... he didn't like how it ended. Don't ask don't ask Lord Varys about <laughs> no. Game of Thrones because he will tell you. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I just think that yeah, I think I think the the uh, George R. R. Martin, yeah, he's gonna finish Winds of Winter or whatever it's called. It's gonna be great. But uh uh, Benioff and Wise, or whoever you know, whoever else it is, still had responsibility to make sure they finished the best TV show in the world. I think, I think where 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 it I sort of cut you, but I think where it falls is that they had two years to get this yeah. right. Yes, they had two years, two whole years to try get the writing correct, get the uh, get. Just to just get the story right so that it flows a bit better. They had two years to make the ideas work, to con to, to um, consult with each other, to get everything together. But they'd still done that. It it, it it still came out to just be a rushed mess with with just with just like the the first episode was just them just like all just like talking and being friendly with each other because they're about to have a fight or something. It was just all just like friendly banter, which is fine. I, I don't mind it. But then towards the end, we need to start getting into the proper nitty, nitty gritty. We had to have the Battle of the White Walkers. Fine, perfect. Got no problem with that at all. And then we then had to go to Cersei and we had to then deal with the, um, with the Golden Company. Hmm. What would a golden company? <laughs> these yeah. were some hard dudes. They were gold plated. They were these, solid were, gold. these were supposed to be some hard back dudes mm -hmm. doing stuff, showing people some stuff. They did nothing. They were scared from beginning to end. Yeah. Two years. The end. I think that I think that with the golden <laughs> company, they could have taken out the whole golden company thing and just no, no, yeah. they could have taken out um, Euron. And use the Golden Company better because Euron was a waste character. Like, I don't know why they introduced it. I know, like, the character exists in the book. Actually, I think he's two people in the book. They just put them together. And, um, but he didn't do anything or mean, really mean anything. Like, that final battle with, uh, with, 
uh, Jamie. I thought, what, what is this about? He can see, like, why is he fighting Jamie? If, I thought if he was fighting Jamie over the boat and he was like, oh, I'm going to take this boat and, get, and leave, and Jamie's like, uh, nah, that's mine, then there'd be, there's a reason to fight. But he just decided to fight him while the whole city is burning, and it didn't seem like that was in his interest. You know what I mean? He seems like a lot very self-serving the, the whole time. And then suddenly he's like, oh, wait, I just want to kill Jamie Lannister. And it didn't even matter because it didn't even matter. It didn't affect how Jamie's story ended. So I found that, I found his entire arc and like him trying to impregnate Cersei. I found that entire arc waste from beginning to end. Um, yeah, that, that's, one of, that's one, actually one of the things that angers me most about the ending. Um, but in terms of like, it all coming together and I, th- I think the main problem is that they did decide that they wanted to just uh, I think I, I don't know maybe they in the beginning you using the source material and you have all these characters and you're trying to explore all these stories but you don't know where it's going to end they didn't know where it was going to end so they didn't know who or what were going to be important towards the end so when it's coming to like, oh yeah, we need to finish the story now. It's like actually we don't we we, can't, we don't have time to deal with this and we don't have time to deal with that. That's why I think well, like some characters just kind of got dropped. That's why you uh, kill characters. They had to kill characters. You kill characters. <laughs> you kill characters. <laughs> you can't make it, if you can't make it work, you kill characters for it to then yeah. be a bit more streamlined. Have to. They killed every, They killed a lot of characters, but I was surprised how, that one of the things I was surprised about is how few characters died in the last season. Exactly. Like in that battle for Winterfell, yeah. I felt like they could have killed. At Sam was like died dead. like five yeah. times. It was the dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Samuel, Samuel should have died. He, and yeah. he, he, Sam he went was, down like constantly. He looked like he was crying at Samuel. Samuel killed more people than the Golden Army. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know if they I don't know if they were making a point with the golden the golden like uh, golden army by saying that you know actually Daenerys is so powerful that she could just take them all out like she was holding back all this time and she could have just literally come what she said she was gonna do when she first arrived it's like I'm gonna burn down King's Landing and they were like uh maybe you shouldn't do that and then she's like I'm I'm gonna do it now I'm gonna do it so maybe it was just like to show that I don't know. Hmm. One of the things I didn't like about the final season is, and maybe this is just a personal thing with me, I didn't like the way that Cersei died. Cersei got the end in which she wanted. She got the end in which she wanted. And it's like, why, why, why would you do that to us? Why? Why? The person she didn't want to die at all. Wait, she, wait, yeah, Leon, did she want to die? She died in the arms of her love, in her, of her boyfriend, of her lover. <laughs> she, it's like, Come on, kill her the way her son died, the way anyone else died. Just not like that. Come on, what kind of sadistic? No. <laughs> in, in season one, is it season one or season two where they go hunting for what's his name's child and they, they're killing up kids left, right, and center? Yeah. <laughs> it's Game of Thrones, anything goes. And the Red Wedding, they stabbed her up and she was pregnant in the belly. Yeah. Red Wedding, she was stabbed up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. No, they should have. They should have. Yeah, I, well, I, I, mean, I, 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 I suppose with her, she lo- like you can literally see her lose everything. Like you see her just lose control. She thinks that she's all smart and everything, and then she's lost it all, and then she's panicking towards the end. It's just like she's just weak. like it shows how weak she actually was, and then she. I don't. Care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Do something. Not like that. That's that's for her. That's a happy ending. She died in the arms of Jamie. Yeah. That's a happy ending yeah. for her. Nice, nice. Yeah. So yeah. She, was so, she was so pretty at the end. Her face wasn't mashed or nothing. <laughs> the rocks were yeah. so pretty. They looked like the rocks had been placed on them. Calm, like they lied yeah. down and the rocks of rocks were placed on them. That's what out Harry yeah. and just picked them up. It's like, oh yeah, there they are. Tyrion's like, <laughs> <laughs> so walking crazy. through the hall. Tyrion's walking through the hall. Yeah. And there's no bricks around him. So, <laughs> step to the left or the right, they're calm. They're cool. <laughs> but, but it's just like, uh, oh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm just unlucky, isn't it? <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, Jamie's, Jamie's a character who I think most people hated, and then they grew to like, really like him, yeah. and then he did whatever he did to Brianna and walked out on her. 
but I think still, I think he should have gone out. He should have gone out in a fight. He should have gone out in a fight. Well, Cersei, what? Cersei died. Huh? What's that gonna be? He's yeah, but even even so, he's a warrior. He needs to go out like one. However, it is he needs to die in a fight. Well, so Cersei, you should have stabbed him to death. And that he even yeah. died. So I'm just I'm just like Cersei so shouldn't have died with him. He shouldn't have died with Cersei. That was a prophecy. That was a prophecy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The way she was supposed to what die was with, him. with him. That's no, with yeah. um, her the younger brother. Yeah. One of her younger, her younger brother she, is supposed to well die with him her, right around her neck. So she's the life. Uh, so that was basically the fulfilling the prophecy. Okay. So, was that? I thought. I thought the prophecy was she was supposed to get killed by one of her brothers. Yeah. No, the that, well, the the, the 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 wording I think is that the uh, one of her younger brothers with um has her arm wrapped around her neck as the life is choked out of her. So I suppose it kind of it kind of fulfilled it because he's had his arm around her, and <laughs> and then she died. So yeah. And obviously, everyone would think that, oh, yeah, she's going to die by being murdered by one of them, but it was actually something sweet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So what's your, what's your opinion about how it could have been better? If you think if it went any longer to fulfill all the characters and you know, to, to, to make them fulfill their roles, how long do you think it would have gone on for? I think they could have still done it with the 10 episodes. I think they could have done two, the last two seasons could have been 10 episodes and they could have done it. They could have done yeah. like, like four yeah. more episodes yeah. in this. They could have shown kind of yeah. things happening slowly. Like after the aftermath of, of um, Daenerys burning down King's Landing, I feel like there could have been a big, a bigger, like much more tension there. Mm, she could yeah. have been showing. You know, also, also, Balenik, even the, the time jump, you know, when uh, they went to prison, Massive. There's a time jump of three weeks or something. That is yeah. like three episodes, four episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. In, a lot in, happening in that time, you know. In, all the, all, in, all the Lord of Winterfell had to get together. They had to discuss things. People had to like reorganize. Like, Raven was tried, tried to kill John once, once or twice. So yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. So, you know. Yeah. In, in I can't remember what see. I think it's in season three and four where um, Arya and the Hound are making a journey. They journey from north to south in two seasons. It takes yeah. them two yeah. In the season, yeah. they journey from, from uh, uh, north to south in one episode. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. just goes to show. Yeah. Uh, but also, that's what I'm saying. With the, with the pacing of it, because when you watched it over eight years as well, and then you had yeah. the pacing, everything felt long, like, uh, when the Starks got split up and when they finally got back together again, it felt like, oh my gosh, this has been, it actually yeah. feels like it's been years. And, they, and this is like, this means something. And then everyone's kind of getting together in the last season. It's just like, seemed like fan service. It's like, oh yeah, we've got to get these people together. We've got to get these people together. Everything's really quick. And yeah, it, it didn't feel, I understand when people say like, it doesn't feel earned as much. It's just like, uh, things are just happening rather than you seeing the journey. And part of the journey was, you know, a part of the, the thing that actually made it special. Yeah, it's not just like, ah, oh, battle scene, battle scene. Exactly. Yeah. Mainly, what you just said there kind of hits the nail on the head because I think the journey is what this show's about. I feel, I feel like yeah. it was going to be really difficult to execute a perfect ending on this because there's just so yeah. many things going on. So what Louise just asked, I mean, it'd be interesting to know if anyone had like, has got a sense of how it should have ended. Okay, <laughs> Elliot, go for it, man. I do, yeah. <laughs> I feel... One, it could have gone for another two seasons easily. That's if they wanted it to, fine. But they could have they could have fulfilled the full ten episodes perfectly well. With with a normal one hour episode as well. What what could have been done better as well is that the way they the, they 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 um handled the Daenerys situation yeah, yeah. became a tyrant too quickly. That should have been a build-up. Probably yeah. a season, two seasons. I, I have it done within a couple of episodes and then becoming this person screaming in front of everybody um, with a black flag behind her was just too far of a jump. That, I disagree that with that, to be honest. It was too quick. I think it's because I watched it back recently as well, but... I, I saw, like, from the beginning, she has just, all, her first 
instinct is to burn everything down. And everybody, it's her advisors who have always been like, uh, maybe you should try to be a little more diplomatic first. But she, she comes back, when she came to Marine and she, after she got captured by the Dothraki, she came back and said, I'm gonna burn this place down. She, and Tyrion's like, no, can we try to compromise? And she burnt, uh, she burnt the Dothraki down. She burnt the master. She crucified the masters. She does like really violent things. But that's monsters. But no, but then stuff. Again, no, but I'm saying she would have burnt down the whole. She would have burnt everything down before. But they're like, can you actually try leading this, or can you try being, um, can you try being, a, you know, uh, a queen first? And then she's like, okay, yeah, let me do that. But her instinct is to kill everybody first. <laughs> and it's, it's always been the people around her who have been like, maybe, maybe not. Maybe yeah. But then no, she's but one of her friends. She said she, she doesn't want to be queen of the ashes. And I think the, the thing that... No, but they it, told her, they, they said that to her, they said, you don't want to be Queen of the Ashes. And then she repeated it. She didn't, that wasn't her first thought. Her first thought is, I want to be Queen. And that's just it. Mm. Like, I need to... I know, I know, I know that she, she, like you said, I know she's burned stuff down and, you know, she's gotten on a rampage every now and again, but she's never killed, like, kids, lots of moms. people. She's no, not gone I, like I agree, that. it's, like, further, but she, uh, but if you look in the context of it, she came to so in the um essos all she's had yeah. all she's, she's been through hardships and stuff but she's always overcome it and so she's like the dothraki so first she steps into the fire comes out they all bow down to her because she's old magic lady and she goes frees slaves and they bow down to her because she freed the slaves and then um so she's still cruel and everything uh, uh no she still has done like um like mad things but then yeah. uh when she came over here when she came over here, you know, when she came over to Westeros, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, then she said, then not, no one was bowing down to her. They're like, who are you? Like, you're not, you don't really care. She goes over and she uh, loses everything. So she loses one of her dragons ter- yeah. trying to help Jon Snow, even though she was like, I don't have time for you and what you're doing, Jon Snow. But he convinces her. She loses one of her dragons. Then she loses another one of her dragons. Then she loses her best friend. And then she loses, and then she keeps losing all her allies and everything that she's kind of, so all this time that like she's just getting worse and worse in, time, in, 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 in her head because yes. you know, she just keeps yes. losing. And uh, she's never experienced that before. And nobody wants, nobody seems to want her. Then she finds out that the one thing that's been, that she's been, um, what's it, that's been holding her this whole time, like the one thing that's been driving her this whole time, I am the rightful heir. I am the, supposed to be the queen. Yeah. And then Jon yeah, Snow's yeah. like, hey, that's actually me. And she's like, okay, I've lost absolutely everything. And so she, I think in that moment, she just switched. and it just. You but know, true, Malik, you've awful. described that really well. But can you honestly say that was visualized and depicted on screen in season eight, in, in episode I five? I mean, I'm talking about the entire season, though. I know. I, the I'm talking I about the, huh? the entire, Yeah, what you're saying, what you're saying is right. Everything, what, everything you're saying, I, I remember, and I, I remember seeing it. But yeah. in. Like up until season eight started, and she was looking at doing doing it a certain way. What happened in season eight? Like that really tipped over the edge. Was it Miss Sunday going? Was that the one? Well, was it was the Miss Sunday? The two dragons, the, and Jura. The claim the claim. Yeah, Jura. Everybody who keeps her calm. Everyone who he tells her, um, you know, not to do things. Or you know, yeah, Tyrion. But Tyrion is the the brother of her enemy. So at the same time, she's like, I don't. You keep telling me the wrong things. I keep losing because of the things you say. So I'm not listening to you anymore. And I want to do it my own way. What I thought I was going to do in the first place. When I came over, they had to, they said, don't burn it. Don't, please don't just go to the King's Landing and burn down the Red Keep. And she was like, that, that was her plan. In the first time. She could have done that. She, 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 she took, that's what she was she going to do. They convinced she took the long to... route. She went down every street yeah. rather than just go to the Red Keep and burn it down. But that's what, that's, that was her, look, in season seven, that's the first thing she said she was going to do when she got to Dragonstone. Mm. And they're like, no, yeah. you, if, you, if you take your army, if you take the Dothraki and the Unsullied and you take them outside, nobody's going to like you. And she's like, okay, mm. Tyrion. And then she does it the other way. And then she loses, um, she loses all the, what's it? she lost the Sand Snakes. She lost the Tyrells. Then, uh, half, half, yeah, she lost, yeah. Uh, and then she lost uh, half her army up in Battle of um, the she had a lot left. I don't know where that army came from. She had a lot left. Then the <laughs> <laughs> <She had a laughs> the that's, that's another <laughs> issue. They seem to multiply. They those they, they, they kind of have kids, back. but they can clone <laughs> themselves. So I don't know. I don't know what that is about. But <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but in terms of like her losing everything and being like. Mm. Um, 
switching and that she feels justified as well. She's like, she feels justified in everything she's done so far. So, and it's just, Essos was not um, um, uh, Westeros basically. So, and that's what, that's what changed because her, her journey over there was easy, but her journey over here was not what she was expecting, mm-hmm. not what she was used to. And so it, she, it took, it brought something out of her. Anyway, that's why I took away from it. So no, I can see Melnick's point on that, but you know that if it was the previous seasons, it would have been probably dragged out for two seasons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. It would have had. It still would have got there, but yeah, because must admit, what you've just explained, I didn't fully see that. But now you've right. said it. Like, oh yeah, that's why she. Yeah, but I think mm. if it was dragged out, you would have got more involved in her her um downfall and the issue she was going through if it was over maybe two seasons um probably i would have felt it a bit more yeah 100 yeah. was rushed 100 was rushed and there should have been more it's the next episode of from her burning down the red keep shouldn't have just been her being stabbed i feel like it should be there should have been a lot more to that there should have been a lot more kind of just about her character. I think her character deserved more than just being like, okay, that I made this one decision, now I need to be murdered. And that and that was just one conversation between uh John and Tyrion. Yeah, yeah. And, and about that, sorry, Melly, I mean, does every, everyone buy that? Was anyone troubled by that? John Snow <laughs> switch. Like just a couple of words took him to the end to the point where he thought that killing Danny was a good idea. Like, I mean it didn't take that much. Uh, Tyrion was only Whoa. talking to him for a little bit. And then next scene, uh, did anyone see that come in? Was that expected? Because that took me by surprise. I didn't. No. That, well, unless they meant to do that, then that, then that's that's a good piece of I don't know deception for the for the audience. But I think again, I mean, if it was fleshed out more, would it have been, would it have would it have landed maybe better? I don't know. Maybe maybe it was supposed to be that quick. But yeah, you're right. Someone like him who's so. But again, again, that's his dilemma, isn't it? It's like he he's. By doing the the one wrong thing, he knows he's he's helping more people. So the needs of the many prevail over the needs of the few, kind of thing. I was, and I was more surprised that he didn't think he needed to do it before. That he needed so much convincing because yeah. he was there exactly. when they switched and he, exactly. he saw the destruction. So I thought he would have been like, you know what, you're right. But he was like, yeah, she's my queen. I love you. I don't really understand. That. <laughs> That's why I found more confusing. I think the same. We're kind of all saying the same. It was all rushed. It, it was rushed. If it if the, if they had done the full ten episodes, I think they would it would have because I I agree with um with what uh, Menelik was saying about um uh you know you could you could you could tell what they were trying to do you could tell that they you know Daenerys was making that switch but because it was only done in five six episodes it was too rushed if they had done it across the whole ten episodes. I think everyone else, a lot of people would have bought it more. And also, if it was done over the whole 10 episodes, the transition between Jon Snow going, you're my queen to I need to murk you, that would have um, also uh, been more believable as well. It was just all too, it was just all too, all too quick. All too quick. Yeah, yeah. And it's a shame. It's just like, when you think back, it's like, ah, oh, this could have, we know that you could make it good we've seen you can make this good we've seen you can do like really surprising moments but i don't think there were a lot of surprises um my biggest surprise was when oh uh, yeah i don't know if it's, yeah i was gonna say that yeah it was my biggest surprise is Arya uh, killing the knights and like that. that was the you, one thing oh yeah Arya killing, killing the night king the night king should not have been dealt with in one episode no yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a surprise Link. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? My actual biggest surprise is Bran becoming king because I still don't think that makes sense. <laughs> that... Listen, <laughs> please, let me say about, about Bran, please, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. Bran now, yeah? Right. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, so from the very beginning when he became the three-eyed, three-eyed, raven. Gro- three-eyed raven, yeah? This boy has known that he is going to be king at some stage, yeah? He, he, (laughs) he himself has played the game of thrones. (laughs) He has got everybody killed. He's (laughs) maneuvered everybody around and he, so that he could become king. 
I would be surprised if yeah, he's got his little finger <laughs> underneath. <laughs> like a chin. <laughs> It's, I was waiting for a twist there, actually. I was waiting for I was waiting for Grant to have been, you know, the, the whole mark on his arm and everything like that. I was waiting for yeah. the Night King the, yeah. the, the, to be yeah. like it was yeah. the Night King, actually. I was like, how does this make sense? Like, he's not even, I can't be, I can't be Lord of Winterfell. I'm, I'm barely a person anymore. And suddenly he's like, yep, yeah, I came down here because I, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm going to... This is why I did this. This is why. But I don't this think, I don't think that's why he's here. Let me... I don't think he's got full clarity of the future. He sees pieces. Yeah, that's doesn't... what I mean. They said that because he's like, I don't know everything. Um, but at the same no, time, he, it's like, he's, why is at he the end, he goes, why do you think I'm here? He knew. Exactly. He, goes, he, he, he knows. Thank you. Yeah, he knows his place to be here for a reason. Thank you. But he didn't know what the full reason was. So why do you think uh, I'm here? <laughs> Yeah, no one would have been who no one would have developed the way they developed if he'd said it a long time. Well, if he no, yeah, or, so if it happens know, for a reason, there'll be a lie, exactly. there would be no war, there would yeah. be this. I don't know what the like. game of thrones, <laughs> game of thrones. Yeah. What's in it? but there's definitely there's a moment where you can't interfere with, I guess, you can't interfere with what's going on or the present. So he was like, definitely like, more of a watcher. To me, you know that's the problem, though. He was too much of a watcher. He's the last. He like he disappeared for an entire season, and yeah. he was yeah. barely a character for the last two. And then suddenly he's like, "Yeah, you're the most important person in the whole of Westeros." And it's just like, how? You, he's had like ten lines this whole season. Like, I don't. It's just repeating, basically repeating things that people have said in the past. I don't really know why they thought it was like, yeah, it's, it's just a, it's just the most unexpected person, but it doesn't mean I didn't think it was a good decision. I would have been cool for him to have been named as an advisor, as a wise man who tells stories, and that's how everybody knows <laughs> the history. That's so I'd cool so that. That's so that would have been fine. He he could be the storyteller of the whole Westeros, and anybody knows about White Walkers. He'd be protected, he's looked after. But to be king, what does his history got to do with anything about leadership? Yet he doesn't not... seem to care about anybody. He didn't seem to exactly. really care about people. That, 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 could be, that, could be the king. that could be a good king because then he's got no invested interest and no... In anyone. No <laughs> <to> be... <laughs> he's literally like a, a neutral. Yeah. He's neutral. So he'll always but, I mean... the best of the, of the realm. Like, like Lord Varus. Lord Varus was kind of like, oh, he was a schemer, but he's his main interest was for the people. Of the realm. In the grand He's scheme of things, uh, in the grand scheme of things, Tyrion's actually leading, but actually ruling because he's the one making all the decisions. So I guess he won. He, mm. yeah, he definitely won, man. He's actually yeah. Won. Nah, Bron. Bron's the winner, man. Bron won. <laughs> Bron is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bron is a winner. Oh my god. Now, do you know what Bran? Bran becoming. Did any of you guys watch Sunset Beach back in the day? Yeah. Yeah. Men at the end, watched it too. Don't, don't shake your head. No, I, don't, I have no idea what that is. Sunset Beach, and so. The end of Sunset Beach. It was a, it was all a dream. It was all yeah. Meg's dream. Yeah. Brands, do you, Dallas. This is here. Was like the ending of Sunset Beach. It was like it was a whole dream, and none of this needed to happen because he already knew, and it just really killed it. I yeah, again, I didn't like him becoming king. I and didn't like that, him. That did bother me. Uh, and, and you know what? Sansa should have been king. Who, who's who's got yeah. better story than Bran the Broken? Sansa. <laughs> Sansa. <laughs> yeah. But Sansa did her thing though. She turned to her brother. She's like, hey, bro, 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 bro. I don't want to be kneeling to you. I'm going to take this whole north, which is bigger than the rest of the south anyway, and become queen. You cool with that, right? He's like, yeah. And everybody else is like, but hold on. Why don't we do this? He's like, well, she asked first. So. <laughs> 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 A little bit like Littlefinger, like her arc is really. I think it went dark a little bit. There was a moment with her and the Hound. Did you remember in that scene, yeah. episode two? Did they get together? It's like no, 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 no. Are you sure? There was a little no, no, look. No, no, no. I've looked at that look no. like loads of times. No, 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 no. 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 He no. Protected, he, there was a moment when he was going to protect her. Huh? Yeah, yeah. There was a moment when he was going to protect her when she was getting. Uh, she was going to be raped, and the Hound stopped her being raped. And yeah. at that moment, he was going to leave with her and say, oh, come, come, let's go. And she obviously stayed. But he, there's something about him that he likes to protect innocence. I think something deep inside him, 
Uh, but it's obviously like overlaid with all the like no, magic. No, 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 I beg you, watch that episode again. Just watch that. No, I've again. watched it about four times. I know, I know the clean. I know. Look, she gives it. It ain't look of like, oh, thank you for protecting me. It's like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, little bit, a, little, a little bit. There's a little bit. Right there. Oh, she, I think she's grateful to be alive, and she's and at this point she's learning to play the game as well. She's learning like I need to be really nice to people. So I, I need yeah. to look innocent to people. I need to seem appealing to people, not, uh, yes, yeah, not, <laughs> not. Yeah. <laughs> the hell, the hell. <laughs> not interested in people anyway. He's not interested in women anyway. You see when, when he was, when they were all sitting at the table and that woman was all over him going, Ooh, and he's like, he's this is my bitch. He's waiting yeah, for he's, the right woman. The right woman. No, 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 no. He, wants his, he wants his chicken. He wants his chicken, man. That's all he wants. Yeah, man. He's like KFC. <laughs> Also, also, um, when when um, they had the small council meeting at the end, and they were saying, um, "Where did the dragon go?" Mm. And Bran goes, "Oh my god!" (laughs) Yeah, he says, "Like he basically says, don't worry, I got this. I'll (laughs) I'll find him. What next? (laughs) What?" What? Why say it? Why tell us this and do nothing about it? Why right. have like an end? What one have like an end? Like an end credit saying, "Oh, you know what? There's this dragon has now taken Daenerys somewhere and it's laid some eggs. Something then then end. No, he just says, "I'll look for him," and that's it. Keep him out quiet, my <laughs> You're not quiet. Stop chatting. You're chatting too much. That's, 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 that's all your plays. And let, oh and let the big boys talk. You get me? <laughs> it's to keep it, you know, it's to keep the stories open. It's not shutting the book. It's letting you know it, it, it can continue. Like, these people are still going to be miserable afterwards. They're still going to be killing each other afterwards. It's just letting you know the stories are still going on. That dragon's going to come back for revenge. Don't worry. In a few, in a few years. Mm. That dragon, oh, that's why you eggs. Bit. I, like at the end credit should have just been like some egg somewhere. But like egg <laughs> <and then, okay. laughs> I was gonna pop off again later on. But no, it was just it's just, just, just ended. Another question now I have to ask about that whole thing it. though. That is that why how did anyone know that John killed stabbed Daenerys? Like, exactly. Knowing him, he doesn't admit it. Why? Is He's honorable. He's honorable. This oh, come on. He did he actually he'll turn do. himself in? Huh? Yeah, he'll do that. He'll do that. This is one of my things as well. That's dumb. That's dumb. Because I just like, wait. It's queen, uh, yeah. The dragon's got... taken a flight. You're breaking up. We couldn't, can't make out what you're saying. I'm like, can you hear me? Can you hear? Hello, hello? Yeah. So Daenerys, yeah. yeah she's she's, obviously, she's oh. queen, right? She's got this whole army behind her. She's got Unsullied and she's got the Dothraki. She gets killed and none of them go mad. None of them, like, just, you know, decide to wage war or anything. Um, no, they were. They were know, uh, what's his name? Um, Grey Worm just goes and arrests. Mm, so they would have, but that's what um, we I, I, I we missed what stopped them doing that. We missed that. But I reckon yeah. that there would have been some beef. There would have yeah, been. 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 But we missed it. Yeah, but there wasn't because he's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. There were no. But they don't have a leader anymore, though. So you nothing. know, they're like, and and you know the uh the Thraki, when you kill one of their leaders, they they just follow the next person. So yeah. maybe they're like, hey, Jon Snow, you're pretty cool. And then they're unsullied, like, who's actually leading us now? But no, uh, they should definitely have been Grey Worm would have gone mad. Grey Worm was about to was about to kill him when he when Jon Snow helped. Oh, sorry, I'll get him. I thought that too. I thought that, that look. He looked like he was going to murder him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was that. Like, he turned around. He was like, "Oh, I thought he was looking for him to like spare him or something, but then it just didn't happen." And then he just went and arrested him. That's yeah. all. And also, <laughs> after killing, after the dragon flew off with her. They must have saw her flying off and going, Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> he walked down the steps. He walked down the stairs and then they go, Oh, so what happened? He goes, Oh yeah. Um I, I killed her. Oh, okay. 
You should have saw jail. That's long. There will be war. There will be... This is... It's just... Nah. It's just too rushed. Yeah. It's too rushed. Is, he probably should have been killed. If it was the, everyone doing the honourable thing, he should have been executed. Should have I, been think executed. If, I think they probably know that if they kill him, then the North is going to come down and it's going to be the next war. Well, yeah, that, that's what Sansa said. She's like, look at all my Northmen outside. And we're like, how many? Because I saw they all died. But anyway, yeah. They're, they're, they're like... <laughs> you don't really care about that. They'll be ready to yeah. fight. They're, they're warriors. Ready to just the North, it was the Northmen as well that were murdering people in the... In yeah, one season in the freaking Red Keep. See, I, that's why they had to be killing people. Was everyone happy with... I mean, would everyone have preferred to have seen John B. King? Because that's what I was expecting. Uh, um, that's nah. what I, no? Not nah. at all? Uh, if he was going to be king, it'd have to be a <laughs> king. I, I, I know he wouldn't, be, he wouldn't want to be king. Yeah. But if yeah. he, he had to be it. king, would it be a thing where he'll do it because he knows it's the best thing to do, but yeah. he doesn't want it? Exactly. That's I'm a lot more satisfied with him not being king. Really? Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why other kings have done worse. So I didn't understand why he couldn't be king. Because he's not a king kind of guy. That's Sorry? He's, he's, he's not a king kind of guy, you know? Yeah, but I That's know that, why that, well, that option was taken out of his... I mean, he didn't want to, but the option was taken out of his hands anyway. But I've seen... In that, you've seen kings do worse. So I didn't understand. Because he killed her, why was he then taken to what was left of the wall? I didn't get that part. I was like... Hold on a minute, but he was rightfully king anyway. Yeah. Um, no you know, Jamie got away with stuff, you know. Jamie got away with killing a, a king, so I, I don't understand how he never had the option. He still, yeah. he still was the rightful heir. So yeah, that's an element that's definitely missed out. Like no one yeah. touched on the subject again. Like, I'm like, actually, he is the king. Like he's so the why, why, why couldn't he? He was, he was killing yeah. someone that was killing innocents. And he was, de- he could say, I was defending because she could do worse. I'm rightful heir, yeah. but I didn't understand why he was all of a sudden banished because he killed her when he was rightfully king. And I've seen kings do worse. I didn't get uh, that. Maybe, it, maybe it's because the, the secret about him being the king was still really quiet. So it just might have looked weird. I don't know. But that's another no, thing. Lord Varmus was writing not. off letters. Remember yeah, Lord Varmus? Yeah, yeah, that didn't come to anything. That, not, that never came to anything. That's yeah. true. He was no, writing letters, no, no, no. but even before that, people knew because uh, Tyrion told Sansa, she would have told people. People yeah. would have told people. Like, it would, it would be out, you know? Yeah, Guys, I've true. enjoyed this, but I've got to, I've got to go now. So I've got a phone call to make. I'm sorry. I really enjoyed that. Nice <laughs> right. to meet seeing you all. See you yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay, one, one thing I've got. The real guy stuff. What? <laughs> when, um, <laughs> when, when, um, so obviously, John got arrested and all that happened, and then he was banished, he got banished to the wall. Grey Worm and everyone left. Why, when Grey Worm and everyone, because why, when Grey Worm left, why didn't they just go, John, it's okay, you don't need to go, you can stay? You know what? He's probably uh, happy with the wildlings. That they have to honour the agreement, isn't it? I guess but what you're saying makes sense, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's right true actually. King, I don't know. Like he's probably happier. Like this is probably the happiest he's going to be. He doesn't have to really deal with anything. Like the wall doesn't ex- Like the Night's Watch doesn't really exist <laughs> uh, anymore. So he's just yeah. literally just living the life that he kind of wanted. Find himself a new girl to die in his arms. Like it's yeah, it's, he'll be happy like that. Although I wasn't happy with the way that John, that, that ending for John was just, for me, weak, man. I was just like, everything he's been through, everything he's sacrificed, he's been, he's been he died, come back to help everyone, like, and then it just goes off to the northern, north part of the north. To just go and, I don't know, make babies. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing with the, pro, like, the books and the, pro, like, the books with the prophecies and all of that stuff. I don't know whether the prophecies are going to mean more in the books than they are in the TV show. But uh, maybe like his um, his role was to kill her, like and then he fulfilled it. So just kill the White Walkers, then kill her, and then now you can go about uh, being at peace. Yeah, maybe. But, um... It just isn't as dramatic as you'd like it to be. 
is, is that the, that's the, that's the uh, Azul Ahai prophecy, isn't it? Yeah, so that that's why I thought that when he killed her, I heart. thought he was going to take out the thing and then it would be like a flaming sword or something like that. I mean, it makes uh, sense. But yeah, that's, that's how it's meant to be, but yeah, I think... Yeah. Yeah, because because the prince that was promised is meant to be someone. I think that that's the reason why the Lord of Light brought him back because he was maybe the yeah. prince that was promised. Yeah, that's so. That's why I actually thought it was going to be a lot more dramatic afterwards, mm-hmm. and then it would be yeah. it would be like a thing. But it, which is it, what it could have been if they fleshed it out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, this. Yeah. Is, these are the gaps, and that the the Benioff and Wise. They I don't know if you guys know, but like from about three years ago or so, they wanted to end Game of Thrones uh, season seven. Oh, is it? And yeah, and they were talked out of it from HBO. They wanted to they wanted to go off and do other stuff because they're doing Star Wars next, isn't it? Yeah, they're doing yeah. of Star Wars. So they wanted to just like obviously end it and go on and do other stuff. So them, yeah. it feels like they're like wow. their candles burn out. They've they've kind of finished. Yeah, they they, they they just had to finish it quickly, kind of thing. And yeah. what you're saying is totally right. Like, that, that should have been fleshed out a bit more. We should have seen like some of the things that they that they seeded. Cersei's baby. That baby was nonsense, yeah. Yeah. Totally nonsense. That was a Azura high, like that. That I guess you could say it kind of happened, but did it happen properly? Cersei and Jamie dying, and the prophecy there. Uh, Arya, like Arya, kind of she didn't change face once in the whole of season nah, eight. That was a waste yeah? too. Yeah. Whole of season eight didn't change face once. Her wolf, where's her wolf? <laughs> like Nymeria, uh, jacking her gar. He but, was off. But but. Mm-hmm. What's west of Restoros? There's going to be no, no the spin-offs aren't going to be of the future. It's all going to be in the past. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. Uh, we've all they're not going to do that spin-off. They're not going to do that spin-off. No, they're not. No? They've already said. No. They've already said they're, they're not doing it. It's Children of the Forest and then Age of Heroes, isn't it? And then something else. I thought they're doing a long, yeah, the long night or whatever that was before. So yeah, you don't, yeah, so none yeah. of you think that this uproar and this sort of dissatisfaction with the way the show ended is going to bring about any kind of change to their existing plans? They've done it already. It's done. It's done. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> they don't need to do anything. Right. Yeah. No, no. No way. That's no, impossible. They ain't got time that's for impossible. that. That's impossible. No, that's not happening. They're, they're no, already now. Like, it'll everybody. be nice, but it won't happen. I wouldn't want to watch a reshoot. It's done. Like it's done. Yeah, like, did it? Yeah, it ended badly. Um, thing anyway, aren't they? Uh, Children what? of the Forest. What that one's called yeah. Long Night. With yeah. that, so they ain't not going to reshoot. But they could do like a, um, a season nine and say that was season eight was Brand's dream. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd watch that. Yeah, like, <laughs> it, does, it does go to show Jamie is an efficient. Well, he's kind of an efficient killer because he tried to do. He, he killed one king, and then he tried to kill another king way before he was king. So he's he's kind of like a. <laughs> <laughs> he's killing future kings here. Or he's trying to anyway. So yeah, you know, bad for the queen as well. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I mean, there's certain characters. Like, I mean, I still think season eight was a was a was a bit of a letdown, rushed. But I kind of I do like like people like uh, what's her name, Bri- Brienne of Tarth. I did like her in season eight. I mean, she got knighted. That was one of my favorite moments yeah. of the whole season. That's nice. Yeah. When she got knighted. That was a nice touch. Yeah, really nice yeah. touch. And those Very are the moments nice. that Game of Thrones has been really good at over the years that yeah. we didn't get any of in this season. You know the character yeah. moments, like oh, that moment with yeah. Tormund when uh, when Jamie went yeah. up. To that was his reaction to that. I was like, oh, even I was like, oh, <laughs> I thought they'd actually get together. But no, they could. The, the the character moments they can still create those. And, I mean, people are invested in them. People are really invested. That's why people are so were so annoyed when Daenerys turned because if you didn't see it coming, like I read mm. something and the people were like, yeah, people are upset because they've named their daughter Daenerys, and I was like, well, that's your problem. Yeah. Story to finish. Yeah. Give us one thing they did give us was Kagamebo. Yeah. Kagamebo. Yeah. yeah. Were you satisfied yeah. with that? I liked it. Yeah, I kind of liked it. Yeah, I kind of liked it. I liked the way like. I was, I, it's all right. It was okay. Oh, sorry, no, I, was gonna no. say, I liked, I liked uh, the thing I liked about it, I liked the way, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy got, got dashed down, Kyburn. I liked the way oh, Kyburn. Dashed, 
Yeah, he's got yeah. cash down the tight. And even, uh, uh, what's his name? Sander, Sander Kukain, as soon as he saw them, he was, saw the, uh, the mountain, he was so fixed. Like, his focus has never been more, more, like... When he saw you know, the hounds, right? Yeah, when the hounds saw the mountain, when Sa- Sandor saw the mountain, yeah, he was so fixed, they didn't even really bother with Cersei. He could have killed her. He wasn't bothered uh, <laughs> on, 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 on his brother. And I think that, that was like... It was yeah, kind it was of good, really the fight wasn't too, was too, too long, but, I mean, them kind of fights, really and truly, Can't those kind of people... Like, the mountain wasn't going to die. They don't last long. Yeah, his brother wasn't going to die. He might even still not be dead. <laughs> yeah, true. And he fell into the fire, which is you know he's always been scared of. But yeah, he, he went out. So you, you're going to say uh, Leon? I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> well, let Leon speak when he needs to speak. You know. <laughs> I, I'm going to be silent for a bit anyway. So you guys just keep going. <laughs> but yeah, no, game game ball was good. I, I'm just I'm just glad that they did it. I'm just glad that they did it, and you know, because that's something that's something that everybody wanted, so it needed to happen. And yeah, so glad it happened. How about when uh, Kogain stopped Arya from going to kill the Queen? I think that was a bit like the way she just like said, okay, "Yeah, that yeah." Bit- I mean, why why did why did he not do that when they were making their journey? He could have he could have done that when they're making the beginning of the journey. He could have said, "Don't go. You don't want to be like me. Save her that trouble." It's because everything was implo- like imploding. There's all the madness going on. I think up until that moment, it seemed possible for her. Like there was no reason for her to go. There was no strong enough reason for her to turn away. Whereas when the, the whole castle was coming down and, and everything, and it's like, actually, I do want to live. She doesn't want to die. But in that moment, I guess that was the only option. She was going to die. Maybe, maybe she didn't want to die, but I believe that she was prepared to die for it. She was prepared to die for it. Yeah. But, but it was yeah. the wrong reason to die. I think that's what the point he was trying to make. It's the wrong reason for you to kill yourself. Yeah, definitely. Kill yourself. She's already going to die, so, you yeah. know. Definitely. You definitely. Die, he, could have, he could have made that point way back, way back then. He could have made that point way back then. <laughs> at the time, though, at the time, though, they, they, they didn't know what was going to happen to her. Yeah. So I guess, like, yeah, when the actual castle was falling down. And... Yeah, she definitely died. Cersei was going to go one way or another in that moment. So, yeah, I, I think... There's, there, she couldn't have done anything more to get rid of Cersei, like so. Yeah, it made that made sense. Mm-hmm. I think. But for me, there was no like all the best character moments happened in previous seasons. There's no major character moments or emotional pulls or engaging moments in the whole of season eight. My my only moment was the Night King. Just the Night King going the way he went was the only real surprise. But I don't think I can't think of any other moments during the whole season where I was like, oh my god, like oh wow. You know, there's been some episodes that I've been broken. Like, I've been like, I've been, I've had trouble sleeping. Like I just, like I can't think of any episode. Like no episode hit me like like they have done in the past. Nah, you know, and that's, that's so true. In every season, there's yeah. been at least one where that's done that to you. Yeah, because exactly. even because even with the, and the Battle of Winterfell, it was it was such an intense episode. After it finished, I sat there, and it was just like. I need to watch this again, yeah. but it's too late. I've got to work in the morning. <laughs> I, can't, I can't watch this again right now, but my, my, my whole body was like going, you need to watch this show again because it was so good. Everybody was... They were all good. All the acting was good. The fight scenes were good. When, when, when had Arya t- tried to sneak through the library and, oh, that was... Oh, the library was so good. Yeah. But then to just have that one episode and have for last season, if they should, they should just end it with that. <laughs> if they couldn't make any of, if they couldn't make um, four, five, six any better, should just end it with that episode and just go, you know what? This is where it is. Yeah. Night King's dead. We're safe. Done. Yeah. Do you know when the Night King ended? I, was like, well, I don't. Like, the biggest threat for me in the whole of the show was was the White Walkers. The, the you know, I was like, okay, well, well what's going to happen now? Like, I, I, I kind of lost a bit of enthusiasm for the rest of it. Like, you just knew that. I didn't because I knew the Golden Company was still next. I knew Golden Company was next. I knew Cersei had to fall. So I was still like, yep, yeah, it's on. It's still on. 
they got depleted um, men. It's going to be a big war because the Golden Company are all fresh. They're ready to go. And the North are tired. That's what I thought. That's what I thought the whole point was. Sorry, I have on camera. But I thought, that's what I thought the whole point was. Like, they had decimated their army. And then Cersei was just ready for them. And then yeah. nothing came with that. Nothing. Nothing. Real threat to humanity are humans themselves. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Which is the so I mean, still, the thing. Go on, go on, Deval. That's just, that's just going to say, uh, yeah, I agree. Episode three, the, the long night was was great. Technically, acting, even dialogue, it was really dialogue light. It was all you know really tense. But to, the, I don't know. I felt kind of cheap. The Night King going in one episode. That's not really thing. Yeah, yeah. That's such a big dude in one episode. He shows up. He spears off Theon Greyjoy. And then he's gone. Like, you know, I mean... I don't you know, know how it could have like, lasted any longer, though. Like, what would have happened? Because literally, like, at the end, he can bring back the dead. So if they don't kill him in that episode, then if they, they would have lost. There's literally no way for them to survive more than one episode. But the episode could have gone a bit differently. I agree, yeah. He's mad powerful. When, when people fall, he's got more people. But, I mean, that just means that episode, the way it went, would have had to go differently. You know? So, I mean, but just to, for, him, for him to show up and go in one episode, yeah. that's one episode out of the six. <laughs> really, when you say it out loud, he showed up and went in one episode. <laughs> it's true. You, know, you say that now, I'm like, yeah, that's wrong, man. That should never have happened. Mm. Yeah. But he just showed, he should, like, if you watch that, like, when you watch it back, right, hard, like, back for hard home and all that stuff, they showed yeah. how, how powerful he was. They showed yeah. how bad he could be. And I don't think there's, and he, I don't think he could get any worse. Do you get what I mean? Like, mm. that's actually the extent of it. If he gets any we worse... Had him, we had him in doses before. We never had him in... We never had the whole threat in one episode. So we yeah. were all in doses and doses, doses, doses. And it wasn't always him. It was, it was other people sometimes as well. But I think they should have showed more fights with... Like, they made such a, uh, yeah. so many points about all the Valerian steel and all the dragon glass. Yeah. But they should have showed them fighting the actual, you know, the lieutenant walkers. Not one. Yeah. That's yeah. That's a bit, a bit of a wasted opportunity there. Uh, but, yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know. So I guess does the season does that last season taint the whole show? If it's no. If it was a nine, has it now dropped <laughs> to like a six? Because of no, the, no, 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 no. Do you know what? Do you know what? For me, it's still a nine. That, no, do you know what? The last episode killed it for me. I, I was going to watch the whole season again. Then after I watched the last episode, maybe I'm just taking it a bit too hard. Maybe I need to wait like a couple months to calm down. But that last episode just made me go, I don't want to watch it again. It's definitely worth it. Like, I, I, I don't think it... Like, even the moments watching it back and knowing some of the things that are happening, got to happen, like the Red Wedding and stuff like that, I still feel like ah oh, this is a good show yeah. it's a shame it ended that way it's not like for example i watched uh, let me come back in there for a second <laughs> i watched um uh how i met your mother and that ending i don't know if anyone's seen no, it but like, that well whatever <laughs> like, the last the last episode basically the last episode just ruined the entire the entire thing for me in a way that made me not want to watch it ever again <laughs> because they made the whole se last season made you invest in something that they then tore apart in the end episode. So it was like, well, what, what, what's the point? What was the point of that? Game of Thrones doesn't do that for me. They might have, they might have, could have been better. It could have been. There were points where it, you know, they, they obviously rushed it, but um, the characters were, you know, there was still enough good there to make me think, okay. The journey, the like the seven seasons before, was 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 still good, and I, I can watch this again. Yeah, I just won't be as excited for the end, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, mm -hmm. everything you just said, Menlik, I agree. I could definitely watch the you know the the previous seasons again, but I try. I watched this, the last episode a second time, and I knew I could never watch that episode again. Like, so I always have to fall short of watching that last episode because it's it is just utterly It's just disappointing because you know it should have, could have, would have been more. If more time, more money, yeah. whatever, and I, I just can't get my head out of that thinking when I watch that last episode. Just ended at the Battle of Winterfell. Just pretend it just ended there. I think I'll always stop at the third episode of, of this of season eight. I think for me, 
that's it. I'll, I'll just end it there. That's um, I was happy, and I think that's that's where I was happiest in season season <laughs> in terms of episode mm. movement pacing, and yeah, it was just downhill from there. Yeah, so, that's where I yeah, was happy. I get it. <laughs> yeah. It was so tense. Like, the whole thing was so tense, like, getting through that episode. I was literally, I had to wake, wake up in the morning early to watch it before I went to work. And I was just like, oh, what's going to happen? And then, yeah. I couldn't, so, even, see was, properly. I couldn't even see properly. You, you're, like, more trying to see it properly. You're, like, yeah, in there trying to watch the show, this dark yeah. show. Yeah. But you were invested. You were in there. You felt everything. And then when, when the night came, died, you're, like, going, oh, my gosh, that was... Yeah. Amazing, yeah. And then, yeah, it's finally oh, breathe. Yeah. And the okay. music. Oh, no one's mentioned the music. That mm. music. That was his name, Divian or J- Jihad. Or, I can't remember the, the <laughs> his name. But that guy's a genius. That the music he does for the Night King's entrance. It just it just worked so much. That yeah. that played like without the dialogue. That did. It's like it was a substitute for dialogue where where it wasn't there, but. Yeah, man. I, I listen to that music all the time. It's just You can just visualise what is going on. I saw the way to work. I saw this clip um, saying that when John, John's there distracting the dragon, well, he's supposedly distracting the dragon and he's going, go, go. And he's saying uh, that to Arya. I don't, yeah. I don't, Really? I, I watched it back and it does sound, it sounds like he's saying go, but I don't think he is. No, And no. then you see do that. He was going for Brad. Yeah. He, he was going for Brad. I don't think he saw Arya. I think the whole point was no one saw Arya, yeah, so you no forget that she existed. Yeah. Yeah, like, I did, I when just, everybody was like, oh, we're almost going to die, I was like, well, Arya must be coming to play somewhere because they haven't shown her in a few minutes, so where is she? <laughs> but um, I didn't, yeah, yeah. But obviously it was supposed to, I think it was supposed to look like John was going to do it. I thought John was going to mm-hmm. get past, you know, the dragon or whatever. But... John, do you know what? John revealed that he was just weak, man. Like, the way That's why like, he can't be king. Like, king's like, <laughs> and my, my man should be sprinting. Like, he's all walking, <laughs> like, knowing the power of the Night King, you're not going to let him just stroll and do what he's ultimately going to do with his arms. That's like the, yeah. the, the thing you should avoid <laughs> prevent at all costs. From the sword. Like... But he, John should have died at the time right there, man. Uh, That's another thing about about uh, this final series, and I think like the last two series, or when they separated from the books, um, some of the characters aren't as clever or as witty as they yeah. as, as they usually are. Like um, Tyrion, he said, "Yeah, let's go down in the cellar where all the dead people are going to be." Yeah. Kind of like my, my my man's power is raising the dead, and he brought them into the cellar. Yeah. Tyrion of old wouldn't have done that. This new Tyrion. Yeah. You know, and the fact that he said in season uh, seven, he was like, oh, don't worry, we can trust my sister. He knows he can't trust his sister. My <laughs> exactly. Sister. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, she's not. She's going to kill everyone because she wants the crap. She wants the throne. It's, mm. yeah, they, they, um, t- uh, yeah, some of the characters, they've tainted some of the characters for me. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. you, you can get past that, but yeah, it's all, yeah. <laughs> So Deval, you say it's still a nine. Yeah. What are you saying? It doesn't sound like it's a nine for you. Wait, what, what's a nine? Oh, show Game of Thrones, like IMDb rating. Is it a nine? IMD, IMDb rating. I go one to seven, nine point nine, <laughs> ten minus two. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh gosh. Elliot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to think about this for a while, but like the show for me was overall probably a 10, probably a 10. And then after this season, oh, probably a eight and a half, maybe still, eight and a half. Yeah, that's still, that's still good. It's still good because the rest of the mm. seasons are excellent, mm-hmm. but it's just the last one, just mm. it just killed it for me. Killed it for me. I think if if it didn't have episode three, it would have just been a write off completely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Menlik. Uh, no, I agree. I, I I agree with that rating. I think I'd give it like an eight or nine. Like it's still, even every episode still made me tense. Like even just watching the the, the titles when 
they switched up the titles and I was like, whoa, what's going on here? Like, oh, the White Walkers are moving. Oh my gosh. And then everything's mashed up in Winterfell. This is excellent. Yeah. Oh, what's going to be at the end? Um, no, it still made me, it still made me tense. Like it, but I don't know if that's because the, the previous seasons had taught me to, to react that way to, to what was coming. Um, because, yeah, I suppose the, the stakes weren't as high. But I, I think I still would rate it quite highly. Like, I, I liked it enough to, to rate it quite highly. The last episode, yeah, it was a bit of a write-off. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it'd still be quite eight, eight or nine for me. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd say... Would you give it, Abby? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I am struggling because up until... Actually, I'd say that even in the previous right. season, it started dwindling. Like there were, you start to see that, like uh, I think many it was mentioned before, like they just jump, like things that took like two seasons, like um, uh, uh, Euron, not Euron, uh, what's his name, Reek. Sorry, yeah. I can't remember his uh, proper name. Leon. Reek now, yeah. Like his yeah. sister, they got to to um, to Daenerys so quickly in that in that one of the last episodes of the season. I'm like, what? Like, so they, they already started just skipping stuff. So I was already yeah. like, okay, this, the pacing's definitely changing. They're, they're trying to wrap stuff up. So I think from there on, the rating that I'd give it started to drop a bit. But um, yeah, I'd, it'd still be like an eight. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I don't know, I don't want the, I don't want to have to, I don't want the show to be tainted by, completely by the ending. I feel like the journey matters for me. And so I'd still base it upon the journey and the whole everything else that happened. But, um, but yeah, um, yeah. It's basically it's like having it's like, it's like having a good session. Yeah? yeah, you have a good session, but you don't come. That's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the sort of thing. I'm glad Louise isn't on anymore for like. That's why I can say it. No, that's why I can say it. But that's what it's like. You can still have a good session. You know, she's still fit but you don't come, it's like you get interrupted or something. I don't know. It just doesn't happen. Yeah. You still like it, so you've got a good memory of it, but if you just bust, you would have been, <laughs> would have been satisfied, but yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you're rubbing your head, you know, you're rubbing your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah, man. All right, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. yeah. But, uh, this, but there's shows that I've watched not many of them, but they get it right from beginning to end. I mean, I know you probably have different opinions of, of, of what, we, you know, what we think about these shows, but like, for me, Breaking Bad, beginning to end, you know, it's like, it's not impossible. Like, they, it could have been done. But, the, uh, but there, is one, there is one thing that seems to be a, like a consistent thing, is that if you have any show run too long, it's going to run that risk of not ending. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's why I don't blame them for to, for to be like, yeah, we want to end it at season seven. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, do, I do think that they should have just kept the episode count. Yeah, they yeah. needed it. Like, it. Nobody thought Game of Thrones was too long. You have so much dialogue. Nobody thought that, oh my gosh, why am I listening to all these yeah. people talking? Like, but nobody thought that. So, like, oh, well, I just want to see the battles in the beginning because... What, in the beginning of the show, you didn't see any battles. You saw the aftermath of all the battles. You saw, because yeah, they didn't have the budget for it. That's so money. Saw, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and, but people were heavily invested. And then at the end, it was all about the battles. And then you had less of what people had, had come in to watch. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't, it was a shame how they ended it. I don't know why it's such a hard thing to people say, you know what? You can go, let's hire some more writers. <laughs> Let's hire some more directors. I know it'll be hard. It'll be hard to be able to accept the, the, um, and the changes and everything like that. But sometimes, if you've got such a successful show, you could, you, you could just make a few changes and people will still go, you know what? It's not as good, but you know what? As, as long as they're still bringing out the people and bringing out the show and up, up to a decent quality... It's fine, but they just. I wonder if that was a George R. R. Martin thing, though. Like he, like he trusted these guys with his story and his ending. They had oh, really? And then he would be like, he doesn't want just anyone on. I don't know. I'm not. I'm. This is speculation. This is pure okay, speculation. Okay. But because you're right, that people there are many shows that change sh- showrunners all the time. Like you've got <laughs> American Gods at the moment can't even keep one. So you know, it just happens. <laughs> so. Yeah. Walking Dead yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Walking Dead constantly. So, mm. yeah, I, 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 it might have been 
It might have been because it could have been avoided. It could have been yeah, avoided. It could have been. But it's also how they chose to spend their budget. They, they, they I mean, it looked good. The, oh, the, man. the dragons look great. Have you seen what like, the, the documentary that came out? Like the that, last... that was really good. Yeah. That was really good. Like, yeah. Everyone should definitely watch that. I only, I only yeah. came across it a couple of days ago, but it gives a good insight into what, how long things took, what they spent. But they built a whole. They built the yeah. whole. Of, um, I'm watching it at the moment. It's wicked. It's really good. It's really good. But King's Landing, man, the budget for that must have been no, no. a lot of money. The battle, obviously, but they, they built the whole of King's Landing from scratch. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's 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 my point, though. That's why I wasn't when I saw that the pace was being cut. That's why I wasn't too like I, I didn't like it, but I understood that they were sacrificing, they were using their budget in other areas, and it's but it was it did sacrifice the story ultimately. Uh, like to make it look more impressive, they sacrificed the story. So mm. they didn't have to sacrifice the story for, for something that felt good, though. Well, what what's so, so, sorry, I don't feel you have to sacrifice the story for the looks because. Oh no, I don't say they should have. I just say that that's what they did, though. Yeah, but but that's unacceptable. <laughs> it's that, that, that's unacceptable. <laughs> it's two different that's, things. That's, that's why I'm not happy. Sacrifice writers. They should. They, the quality should still be there, and they lost exactly. It. Exactly. That's because they weren't interested. They had to go and do other work. They they want to they want to go from. Go to a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> yeah, this is the, which is why they should have just said, no, we're not doing it. And they should have, like you said, they should have just got different writers who are like, okay, yeah, yeah we're this. Mm. And given them two years to then get themselves up to speed and get that right as well. It wouldn't have, I don't know, maybe HBO thought it was a risk. Who knows? Yeah, I feel like HBO is their most maybe, successful maybe, pro- program. They don't maybe, want to make Maybe. Mm. maybe. But, nah, I don't think so. I think HBO would let it go. Because what is it? Um, uh, what was that? Uh, there was a show which came out quite a while ago. Uh, what is it called? Not Lost. 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 So Lost. <laughs> Man. Lost. That was, only, that was only supposed to be three se- seasons. It was good. So they, were, they threw more money at it. It said, make it like 10 seasons. Right as well. Like, no, okay. We'll stretch it to five and then they eventually had to make it ten and you could see it just went downhill. Don't remember. Just went downhill. They 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 would have they would they would have done this for um Game of Thrones. They would have Lost, said yeah no HBO didn't want HBO would let Game of Thrones go on forever. Yeah. <laughs> if they yeah. could they wouldn't they would it's their biggest money maker. They wouldn't let it go. Like the Walking Dead that like, that show needs to end. It has no yeah, it does. It does. There's no yeah. reason to exist anymore, but they won't. Yeah, no, that's and that's what HBO would have would have done for because they see money. They don't care about the story. They yeah. they see the money. So if they're still making if it's making money and they're still making money, they're like, why do you want to end it? It's like, oh, but we want the story to end now while it's still good. But they're like, but people will watch anyway. So you know, it's probably it's probably best it did end sooner than later. But yeah, of course, of course. So, Course, not, yeah. not in the fashion that it did, like not with yeah. like uh, a shortened <laughs> episodes order. All right, well, we're about yeah. to come to a bit of an end, but just out of interest, as I did before with the last one, just want to know who who your favorite character was. If you can pick one, um, the Val, like just one. Uh, well, I guess Tyrion, uh, yeah, I'll say Tyrion just to pick one, just, just to make it simple, but. <laughs> second favorite, um, and why Tyrion? Because he is—he shouldn't have lasted how long, he, how long he's lasted, and his 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 strength is his cunning and his intelligence and his tongue. And yeah, he just gets him. He's always locked up in every season, and he somehow gets out of it and succeeds and influences people. Uh, he must have—he must have. He's read that book that you had. Remember Ted. Uh, how to win friends and influence. Yeah. He wrote that book. Like he's he's a he's a he's a G. He's just a G. He's a G. That's it. Full stop. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Elliot. It's a toss up. I have, to have a long thing. When you ask a question, I have, to have a long thing. But it's a toss up between Arya and Sansa. Sansa. 
Cersei's better than Sansa. Sansa's had a hard time, man. Sansa's had she's had a hard time and now she's king of she's queen of the north now. Yeah. Yeah. So so I'm kind of I'm kind of a bit stuck between them two because of the storyline that they were in. But I think really it's Arya, because Arya, I just liked that stat from 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 when she was young, from a little girl, to go through what she went through and to get to where she got to. Well, she was well, she tried to find the rest of Westeros now. But, <laughs> but like but from where she but from where she got to, she's she just wicked. She's wicked. Yeah. Arya. Okay. Tyrion, Arya. Uh, Leon. Um I mine's between Arya and, and Tyrion. Between Arya and Tyrion. I think I'd go with Arya. Um, because I li- I like I do like her story. I uh, you know. I like her journey. But then Tyrion, Tyrion's a G. He's he's a bad man. Like you yeah. said, he, like you said, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have he shouldn't be alive, but he is. Man chose the king. <laughs> Wrong decision, but you know, he <laughs> chose the king. He's uh, it's between those two. Between those two. Okay, fair enough. But you're leaning towards more Tyrion, it sounds like. It does it after I'd said Arya, and now it does sound like I'm going more towards Tyrion. But also, do you know what? You can't forget Joffrey. You can't forget. Joffrey. <laughs> you know how how bad you have to be for everyone to hate you. Everyone hated Joffrey. Everyone. It's a great character. And he came up acting after that. He stopped acting. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, yeah. It was university. One and done. <laughs> yeah. He has to wait. He has to wait a while. I like about five years before, so that everything dies down. Then he can carry on with his life. But yeah, it's a serious character. Serious character. But Arya, I'm getting. No, I mean Tyrion. I'm going with Tyrion. Arya. Sure? Oh, no. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then look. Bran. Bran. No, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. I'd say either Arya or or Cersei. You know, I didn't think Cersei would last as. Like, I'm gonna say Arya, but I'm gonna give a shout out to Cersei because I didn't think she would, even though she got wasted in this last season. Um, I didn't think she'd last as long as she did, and she like just outmaneuvered people when they from the beginning. Like I thought, she, it's, and when you thought that she was gonna be down, she would find a way to just kind of uh, get herself. Uh, in power, she then she blew up the whole sept. And I was like, "Wow, it wasn't that expected was that." Cost her a lot, but <laughs> she did what she needed to do. So yeah, I like I like that character, and that's what I mean. That's what I liked about the show. She's kind of symbolizes what I liked about the show in terms of the, the scheming part of it. And she's the one who said about the whole Game of Thrones thing in the first place. So yeah, mm-hmm. shout out to you know you yeah. For me, season six revealed her to be the just the ultimate like biatch like she was yeah yeah that's yeah so i'll, I'll definitely give it a, a sort of a, a, a like a nod to her because she's uh, definitely a, a formidable character across the whole yeah. whole of the show but and well acted as well like yeah, yeah, that yeah. performance yeah. Is, yeah. But all of them all of the lannisters man like they, that's just a solid family lannisters <laughs> um yeah solidly evil but solid apart from mm. Tyrion, and i think Tyrion is probably who i would go for just because from the get-go, that guy, I mean, I guess the actor and the character, you know, they, it's almost like they're one, because I don't really see them as being separate. Like, his delivery of the characters, the lines, and just the timing, and, um, but yeah, the scheming, the, the, the intelligence, all of that, just, yeah. I love that character from the beginning, right, well, almost to the end. Kind of, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I'm really, up, really sorry. But yeah, yeah. honourable nods and mentions to obviously the the ones you, everyone loves to hate, which you know the Joffreys and the Ramsay Bolton man, like that's uh, like, like Ramsay like, man, yeah, <laughs> like Ramsay and Joffrey, yeah. Oh, them two, they. I've never hated characters before, but them two did it perfectly, and just their faces and yeah. just. They were outstanding, man. You know, yeah, those two, damn. Like mm. Ramsey, like they both enjoy. They're both sadistic, horribly sadistic. But 
yeah, you believed it. 100% that they, they, they were like that, you know. But, um, but yeah. No. But it's surprising no one's mentioned Jon Snow. No one has... Nah, it's not nah, that never. Much of... Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> Yeah, mm. he's a bit boring. Yeah, he's a bit boring. Queen, he's a cool guy, but not as a favourite. Nah. nah, yeah. <laughs> I like Queen, she's more, more than Jon Snow. Flipping it. What? <laughs> Jon Snow any day. Who? Oberyn Martell. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Oberyn, yeah. Yeah, any day. But look what yeah, happened. Yeah. But like, he was the warrior and he got killed. It's like, if you're too much of a warrior, you don't last. If you're like, just... He was arrogant. Yeah, he was arrogant. Nah, he wanted revenge. He, he wanted. Yeah, he he, he could have just finished it, but he didn't want exactly. to. Exactly. Needed too He's much. He needed too much. Yeah. Worst character? We're we doing that. You're on. <laughs> I wish he was. Yeah, who's the wasteman, <laughs> waste woman character that should never have entered the show? You're on. You're on was a waste. Beginning. <laughs> no, I kind of liked him, but you know. For a little bit. What, what part? <laughs> ter- like, yeah. Rubbish. He needed to happen. He needed to come to the Iron Islands and mess things up. That was good. It was a necessary yeah. evil. Yeah, but the way it went, it just, it's like it, it did go in a pointless sort of direction. But it does the ending, but the contribute. way he is, the way he's arrogant, the way he's ballsy, and the way he just, the way he came and said to, 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 to King's Land, to uh, Cersei in front of Jamie, uh, I've bought you what you want. And the way he was like uh, teasing Jamie because he's got two hands and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, that was wicked. That was good. He's, nah. Yeah, he's, he's got his <laughs> mind. <laughs> that, that's the only way it doesn't mean anything in the end. That's the only thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really nothing it. like trying to get Cersei pregnant and then even everything he did. Yeah, it's just why are you here? It's just literally Gendry. why are you here? Gendry. Gendry. I forgot to talk about Gendry. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what was the point of Gendry? Well, he, I think that's another, well, I think that's another good. lost plot. He's supposed to be king. Yeah, I think that was another plot, uh, a plot thread that was lost. Like, I think they just didn't bother with him. Yeah, nah. They legitimised him and then they were like, okay, cool. I think, this, I think the book's going to do a bit more of that. I think that, because that just felt like something that was supposed, really genuinely supposed to go somewhere and it never, and it just never meant anything. I mean, this, you always have the, the thought that the show is sub- subverting your expectations. So the fact that you thought that he would be king probably means he won't be king. It's probably why Bran ended up being king. It's like, yeah. who is the least likely yeah. I'm going to be him? So, uh, yeah. Anyone else yeah. least favourable, least unworthy of being in the Game of Thrones realm? <laughs> yeah. Mine is very controversial. Oh. It's a very controversial one. But... Jamie Lannister. Oh, wow. How? <laughs> um, Super important. Apart from the incest. Apart from the incest, what is he? <laughs> what is he for? What is he for? If it wasn't what for Jamie, the, the, the Mad King would still be on the throne. Like, I mean, he, he paid a big. Brad would have legs. Oh yeah, oh. Brianna Tarth would have wouldn't be where she is. Yeah, yeah. she does the virginity. I don't, <laughs> exactly. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. He he felt a bit too much. I just were not happy with it. He almost completed his, redem- his redemption, almost, and then he went back. He slipped. Actually, yeah, without Jamie, the, the Joffrey, there's so many characters that just wouldn't be around, or the story wouldn't. Yeah, wouldn't yeah, yeah, I know, but I just, I just don't like him. He could have just died. He could have just like, died. He's the reason why. Yeah. So he's the reason why. Uh, Cat, Cat, like, well, no, he's like he messed up Catelyn's story. Uh, got her. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he was very influential throughout this thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the thing is. If he had died, let's say if he died season two. Yeah. For me, he could be written around. <laughs> More than <For> me. You. <laughs> it's just my thing. As I say, it's very controversial. Yeah, you don't like Jamie, For me, you don't like Jamie. I don't think it was just a pointless... <laughs> if, all I, if all I, had... My biggest question about Jamie is what happened to his blonde hair? It got browner. <laughs> so brown. The, the Lannisters are supposed to be blonder than blonde, and then yeah, he's, he's just like, nah, I don't he's feel that anymore. He's like, yeah, he's not doing that no more. Just like Danny doesn't get her boobs out anymore, man. It's like, nah. No, Only when she wants to. You know, her, <laughs> her boobs are supposed to be present right through to season eight. 
<laughs> in that contract. <laughs> she did it. She did it when she burned down the Dothraki. She was like, "I'll, I'll do it for that." Yeah. Like, yeah, that's a special occasion. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, we're all in agreement that it's a show that mm. was worth watching. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, onto the the prequels, I suppose. Although I think I'm tapping out. I'm. I'm just, uh, I think I'm, Game of Thrones was enough for me and I think I'm, yeah, I'm out. So I'm just, They'll pull you back in, don't worry. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but on that note, guys, I think I'll wrap it up, call it a night. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Um, and, yeah, uh, thanks. Yeah, hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>